Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with UFC President Dana White. Dana, do you have a favorite storyline from tonight? Ah, favorite storylines from tonight. Uh, no, I th yeah, I, th I, I think that a lot of people were talking shit about this card, you know, and that happens sometimes. And and the card ended up being very good. You deliver. Listen, every fight on the card isn't going to be the, you know, am I am I am I ecstatic with the co-main and main event? No, but. A lot of guys stepped up and, and fought some great fights tonight. I think there was a, a interesting thing with Travis Brown. Uh, people sort of seen Stefan Struve. Maybe it's even just because of his height or just because of his. You just sort of notice that guy more. And I know a lot of people didn't really know who Travis Brown was. He came in, threw down. The guy's 11 and 0. Mm -hmm. So where is he in the picture right now for heavyweights? People know who he is now. <laughs> um, and it, I love stories like this where. One of the things that we do in, in, in the media, the managers, nobody's allowed in the room when I go in and talk to the fighters after the weigh-ins. And we have, we have a good talk when we go back there. And you have a guy who, like you said, came out of nowhere, and he told me tonight he was making, uh, I think he made like 8 and 8, 10 and 10 for the fight tonight, but he made 70,000 for the knockout. You know, you go out and you incentivize these guys. To, to, to go for it and, and he did and, and I was talking to him after the press conference tonight he couldn't be happier and you know that's life-changing money for, for guys in those situations and um, I'm a big Struve fan I love Struve the way that he goes out and, and performs and and uh, has come back so many times so it was a big win for tonight for, for, for uh, Travis and it definitely uh, it, it definitely uh, got him some new fans, and, and he created some awareness tonight. Mm -hmm. Rick Story is another person that was kind of flying under the radar. He took care of uh, Tiago Alves tonight. He's basically calling out John Fitch. Is that something we can see happen? I like how this guy calls out all the <laughs> toughest guys out there, and, and, and I think tonight was a big fight for him in that not only did he press the action and go right after Tiago, a guy who's been around forever, has become a well-rounded fighter, and uh, has nasty knockout power, he actually got the better of, of Tiago in, in the trades when they'd start standing. And the, the thing that, that, that really showed me who Rick Story was tonight, he got blasted with that knee. I mean, he got blasted with that knee. And I, I was sitting next to my partner, Frank, I said, this is going to decide the fight right here because he was hurt. He was out of it, and Tiago did nothing. Tiago could have jumped on him and gave him everything he had and tried to finish that fight, and he didn't. And he let Rick Story compose himself, which he did like a true professional. He relaxed. He took his time, and he got back into the fight. And I was I was very impressed with Rick Story. And I were idiots booing that fight tonight. They, they have they're out of their minds, man. The, the Rick Story fought a beautiful fight tonight. Mm -hmm. And I know that we've talked before, and you said that you know you don't really care for rankings, but did Matt Hamill help his case tonight? I mean, he hung in there with Rampage for three rounds. Took you know took some punches. Hung in there. Didn't actually execute his plan but didn't fail really didn't get knocked out so where does that put Matt now what did that do for him in his career and mo most promoters would answer this question a lot different than I'm about to I, d I don't think it helped his case tonight I think that Rampage um, you know Rampage has had a layoff Rampage is notorious for getting out of shape when he's not fighting and the one thing that I want to do is I want to keep him active you know he dominated that fight tonight even though he gassed out halfway through the second round and um, said he had some hand problems. Uh, Rampage is one of the best in the world, and uh, he proved it tonight, even though he was half the Rampage. So he gets a super fight next, or he gets John Jones? We'll see what happens. I gotta figure out what's wrong with his hand and if he's healthy, And but I wanna keep Rampage active. Mm -hmm. All right, well, tonight, are you going out to an after party or do you just go home? Yeah, we have our after party tonight. I want to go home, but I'm going over to uh, XS. All right, well, congratulations, it was a fun night. All right, thank you. Awesome. Well,